Hello everyone. I am Dr. Priyanka Alurkar, consultant radiation oncologist in Ahmedabad. Today I am going to tell you about radiation therapy in breast cancer. Now what is radiation therapy and how does it work? Let us understand this. Radiation means high energy powerful x-rays which are used to kill the cancer cells. Now how it works? It's a very simple mechanism. The high energy x-rays kill the cell's DNA and targeting the cell's DNA means the cell will be unable to divide and grow further. And so it leads to cell death. It affects cancer cells more than the normal cells. This is because normal cells have the ability to repair themselves and they manage to survive. But cancer cells cannot, so they die. This is delivered using a large machine which we call linear accelerator or LINAC in short. When is radiation therapy given in case of breast cancer? So generally breast cancer is a multimodality treatment. It is treated with surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy and hormonal therapy. So the role of radiation comes after completion of chemotherapy and surgery. Uh, generally radiation therapy is given based on the type of surgery that is performed. In case of early breast cancer, the surgeon would have removed only the tumor and he would have spared the entire breast. So in such cases, which we, know, which we call as breast conservation surgery, we generally must give radiation as an adjuvant treatment. But if the surgeon has removed the entire breast, which we commonly call mastectomy, in this case, we need the post-operative pathology report to decide whether radiation is required or not. On the pathology report, if it shows advanced stage or high risk features, then we need to give radiation therapy. Radiation therapy is also given in case of metastatic breast cancer to a particular organ or site in order to palliate symptoms. For example, if the patient has metastatic disease in the bones, radiation can be given to that particular area to relieve the pain of the patient. Why is radiation therapy required? Now you must be thinking that when the surgeon has already removed the tumor, why do we need radiation therapy at all? So it is not like that. To make you understand, there is a simple analogy. Uh, when you break a glass on the floor, you generally sweep the large pieces of the glass with a broom and uh, the remaining tiny shards of glass are not visible to the eye. So you would have to vacuum it to clear the area. Similarly, uh, radiation therapy is given to clear the microscopic cells that may have removed after the surgeon has removed the major chunk of the disease. There are two types of uh, radiation therapy. One is external beam radiation therapy, which I already talked about. It is nothing but the powerful X-ray beam, which is delivered via a linear accelerator. And the other method of delivering RT is internal radiation, which we also call as brachytherapy. Brachytherapy is delivered with the help of tiny radioactive sources in the form of seeds or needles which are inserted into the breast tissue with the help of a catheter which is inserted into the breast during surgery in the operation theatre. It is done with the help of the surgeon. Now very few patients are eligible or ideal candidates for this procedure. Those who are in very early stages of breast cancer and those who don't have any high risk factors. Once the patient has given consent for the treatment, the patient has to undergo a procedure known as simulation. It is just a rehearsal of the actual treatment under the machine. So the patient is made to lie down in the treatment position and a plastic mask is made over the body. This is done to immobilize the patient, to fix the patient in a particular position and the same position will be retained during the treatment. Some markings or tattoo marks will be done on the body of the patient uh, so that we pos position him correctly during the treatment. Then a CT scan of that area will be taken. We will mark certain areas on the CT scan. On each slice of the CT scan, we will be marking the target areas that we want to treat and the normal structures. That is mainly the heart, lungs and the spinal cord. Then we give this plan to our radiation physicists and they will see to it that they place the radiation beam in such a way that the heart and the lungs receive minimum dose and maximum dose is focused over the target area. Radiation therapy is a simple outpatient procedure. A woman can continue her routine activities, uh, daily work 
and still take radiation every day. She has to come to the uh, department of radiation uh, every day from Monday to Friday, five days a week. The weekends will be a break so that the body is given some rest. It is a very quick and painless procedure. It takes only 5 to 10 minutes. Out of that 2 to 3 minutes, the radiation beam is actually on and the rest of the time is taken to position the patient correctly. The head of the machine delivers radiation to the patient. It does not touch the patient anywhere and it is a painless procedure. This treatment can continue for up to 16 days or 30 days. That is on an average from 3 weeks to 6 weeks depending on the uh, patient preference, radiation oncologist's preference and uh, certain tumor related factors which are seen on the pathology report. There is a myth regarding radiation that uh, when you give radiation the skin will burn away, it will cause charring of the skin and it will peel off. No, it is not so. It used to happen earlier because uh, of the machines that were used that time. But now we use modern machines and advanced techniques of delivering radiation. So that is rarely seen. Generally, side effects begin in the second or third week of treatment and they become a little troublesome towards the end of treatment. So the most common side effect is redness and swelling of the breast or the chest area. Uh, it looks similar to a sunburn. Your doctor will prescribe a lotion to apply over that area. It will cause a little amount of pain and discomfort in that area. Uh, towards the end of treatment, uh, you might feel a little tired or uh, you might have a little fatigue. Uh, these reactions take about a month to resolve and uh, the new skin grows over the uh, treated area in about three to four months. The other effects are the late effects. Uh, the most important one is uh, late effects to the heart and the lungs, which I already told you about. Uh, we minimize the effect to the heart and the lung, but we cannot completely avoid it. Another thing is fibrosis. It is a, a natural process of the tissues which are undergoing radiation to harden up. So the breast or the chest area will feel very hard after 2-3 years after treatment. So what after radiation, what is the course of treatment after completing radiation? We generally call the patient for a follow up one month after the date of completion of radiation to check for the resolving skin reactions. In case the reactions have not resolved, we prescribe them lotions and ointments to apply over that area and speed up the recovery. The patient is supposed to be in touch with the surgeon and the radiation oncologist in case she is receiving any hormonal therapy, supplements or she needs adjuvant chemotherapy. Thank you very much.